suddenly I realized that I was living a life that was not mine. I think that I am able to share my feelings and express my feelings more openly thanks to that. What my life was before my second experience, I I grew up in, in, in Spain, in rural Spain, and I was, like, since I was a child, always very anxious and insecure and, and shy. So I, yeah, I, I was lost, I, I would say. I, I didn't know what to do or who I was, and that was, like, a big part of my life. I was just, like, letting other people make decisions for me, and, and I had a difficult relationship with uh, my father not not a bad relationship but like is this he embodies this idea of masculinity that is very unhealthy the the stoicism the and i i had a lot of those traits i was like not very in touch with my feelings was a person that was like i i I wasn't a person that had like a balanced mental health i would say i i struggled with a lot but i kept it to myself and that that was building up in me and i was like started to like see some of that manifestation when i was like 17, 18, and I had to like deal with, you know, the stress of like choosing a career and going to university. And so it was a difficult part of my life. Like many other teenagers, I was struggling with with that major (laughs) choice of like, you know, career and my future and what to do with my life and who I was. So I was working, I was 17 or 18, and I was working in a summer camp. I was like saving money to, to pay for my uh, tuitions for the uh, academy, for the military academy, and I, after working for two years there, I, I, I got comfortable with these people, and I felt like safe with them, and they started telling me about their experiences. And at the time, and even now, uh, psychedelics and drug policy are not a major topic of discussion in Spain. So people, I didn't know anything about them. I, they told me about mushrooms, and I thought that that was, to me, it was a very strange idea, the idea that, like, some mushrooms could teach you something or could show you something about yourself. So I was skeptic. I was very skeptic at first, uh, but I felt very safe with these people, and I really trusted them. So I honestly didn't didn't have an intention when, when, when I did my first, uh, my, 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 the first time that I tried uh, psilocybin, it was... The intention came to me. I, 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 I was struggling with both like the, the anxiety about my future and also my relationship uh, with my parents. So, so the experience that I'm going to tell you about was my first psychedelic experience. I, I tried mushrooms when I was 17 or 18 and I was in the presence of in the company of, of some very good friends, people that I really trusted, people that were surprisingly very different uh, to me. And, and, and I was struggling with that. I was a very conservative, like, kind of like old fashioned person. And uh, one of the, the themes of that experience, one of the things that I learned is that I felt very detached from from their culture and from their ideas. And I, I, I was confused and I was a bit like threatened by it. And it, it gave me a new perspective about them, but also about like somehow my, my father. I, I realized that that's probably how my father feels about like young people and about like a lot of like the things that are, that he's old. <laughs> I suddenly had a new appreciation for my father. I realized and, and a new form of compassion for people that are different than me. I, I was very confused and I was very lost and I realized that that's probably how my father fe- feels too is he's also confused about all, all this like new fashion and culture and new ideas. I, I realized suddenly that, that it doesn't come from a point of view of he's not a bad person he's just confused as confused as I was in that moment when I was with these like friends of mine who were talking about like psychedelics and about like drugs and it gave me a beautiful perspective and and, and a lot of compassion and sympathy and empathy for my father all of a sudden it's something that I've, it, it has continued throughout my life I, and then it gave me a lot of perspective of, about myself too I, I, I was I suddenly realized that the life that I was living was not my own, that I was this scared child that 
was just trying to like find something safe and that's what the army was very appealing to me but it was not me and and i i like i I learned how to be compassionate to myself i i kind of like visualize myself at this like lost and, and sad child that was alone and like that was i thought was unlovable and then by seeing it by being able to like see myself from like a different point of view i i realized that i deserve love and i deserve compassion and i have to be more forgiving with myself and something that is really hard especially and when you are like living in this like masculine culture that you know you have to like endure suffering and you cannot talk about your feelings and you have to see yourself as this like stoic hard person but we're not and i realized that and it's a process i i I not fully quite there but i I, it gave me the tools to like learn to like forgive myself the the biggest takeaways from that experience and how they impacted my life are if i had to choose three it would be perspective towards myself and towards other people compassion uh learning how to like forgive myself and how to forgive others and how to like show empathy for other people and a a feeling of love I, i i know that that sounds kind of like it's it's one of these like platitudes, right? That they become like so meaningful when you are on psychedelics. Love is such a powerful like tool. Like loving yourself and loving others. It sounds corny, but it's just true. It's 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 one of these things that we all need in our life. We need to know how to love ourselves and how to love other love other people. And it's a process. I, I I'm learning every day, and I'm trying every day my best. But like, uh, I, I think it's it's working to a certain degree. Psychedelics have been a tool for me to overcome a lot of the mental barriers that I had. Um, I had these ideas about myself, um, feelings of uh, inadequacy, um, you know, imposter syndrome, a, a lot of like uh, self-loading and uh, it helped me. And, and of course, the, a lot of like aspects of, of unhealthy masculinity that I, I, I was able to overcome thanks to psychedelics. I think that I am able to to share my feelings and express my feelings more openly thanks to that. It's hard. We're all in this together and it's really, really hard. So we need to have more empathy and more uh, compassion for each other. What I've done to integrate that experience, I've, I've learned that like, journaling helps me a lot like I, I like to like either record myself or write um, either either during or after an experience because I, I love to reflect on, on a lot of these ideas that come during uh, psychedelic states I, I, I've i started going to therapy that has helped me like tremendously uh, and, and I've started sharing this insight and and uh, the, the journaling process with my therapist and that has been incredible like like I think that that's the way to go it's it's for me at least was getting in contact with a professional and 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 sharing these thoughts and reflecting on that and then and, and having someone help me like process these ideas it, it's been wonderful so what tool like rec- I would recommend someone who's starting this process? The, the internet is a confusing place. There's so much information that it can be overwhel- overwhelming, and there's so many different approaches to psychedelics. But Edowit is one of the best tools online, in my opinion, for for um, finding like information about psychedelics and for finding also answers. They have like, you know. Um, forums and they have like all these like groups that you can like seek the the advice of experts so i think if if you're curious the best way to do is find a safe uh group of people test your drugs like here in toronto we have uh free uh government fund uh drug testing services and then find some friends that are experienced and can like take care of you and, and guide you and, and try to like process these feelings and talk about them and then um, if if you need to like talk about them a bit more seek therapy I think there's a lot of stigma around like um, 
you know, uh, therapy and mental health. And it's something that, especially as men, we have to overcome. It's it's okay for us to be vulnerable. It's okay for us to go and seek help. That doesn't make us less manly or, or weak. Or So I think that that would be my advice to myself. Mm-hmm.